Hey, hey, good morning, Facebook. Um, I'm going to apologize up front. I'm not feeling my best normal self today, and I usually never get sick. My husband brought home some kind of crud. Still, I usually never get sick, but I've been doing a lot of expanding, um, doing Facebook Lives, doing things that challenge me to step out of my comfort zone. And that's usually when I get sick. So if anybody has any tips out there, I'm doing the oil of oregano mixed with coconut oil on the bottom of my feet and the zinc and all the good stuff to try to get feeling better again. Um, so <laughs> the title of this live stream is why you want to be so greedy. And um, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> I'm talking about me, and um, I've been told this in my life several times by friends and people, and I find it quite interesting because one of the stories, one of the things that happened to me that I just had forgotten about and just remembered recently was um, I've been doing spiritual development, personal growth work forever. Um, like literally, I don't know, when I was a kid, I used to meditate and not know actually what meditation was. But in my early 20s, I started going to Unity Church and getting into a lot of um, metaphysical topics. And one of my favorite um, authors at the time and still is today, even though she passed away, I think last year is Louise Hay. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with Louise Hay, but um, she's the founder of Hay House. And before that, she wrote some really great books. And even after that, she wrote some really great books. And I think she did workshops and stuff back in the day, Louise Hay. But she, um, she used to make cassettes. So that's kind of dating me. I'm... 47 going on 48 and back in my early 20s when I was a brand new school teacher special ed school teacher and I was an itinerant teacher I used to drive from school to school or house to house in my car I listened to cassettes now I listen to like audible audiobooks or podcasts hey Rom but I used to listen to these cassettes all day long while I was driving from place to place. And one of my favorite people to listen to was Louise Hay. And so I had Louise Hay cassettes in my car. And I can't remember the titles of any of them. I know like they were about prosperity and health and just, you know, basically Louise Hay, if you don't know, she has a book called You Can Heal Your Life. Hey, Hans. And she has... And like that's a classic book, um, lots of other books, but but really she was a person who was abused as a child and really had to grow up and learn her own self-worth. And, you know, obviously she got her self-worth and she got um, really good at personal and spiritual growth because she owned Hay House Publishing when she passed away in her 90s. And she was very... Um, Hey, is it Sony? And hey, Donna. Um, but she was very prolific in her work. She was, you know, she she walked the walk and talked the talk and everything like that. But the story, um, for some of you are just getting on here, the reason I titled this about being greedy, hey, Richard, was that I was, I've been told several times that like sometimes doing this work that I do where I'm continually wanting to make my life the way I, I want it to be is greedy and um, someone got in my car to go riding with me and they saw this cassette and they were just like appalled that I had this Louise Hay cassette and it was something about like you know open yourself to prosperity or whatever and they were like why do you have this you know, you're a school teacher, you have a college degree, you have a nice apartment, you have blah, 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 blah. This was like, I was like 22, 23. So yeah, I was in probably a really good place for a 22, 23 year old. And I was like, first of all, I was thinking, A, one of the reasons I have it is that's how I got here. <laughs> Not totally, but you know, doing that spiritual work and focusing on the positive helps me get in a good place and it helps me stay in a good place. Um, and I think, you know, 
who was that guy who said, you know, motivation is like hygiene, like taking a shower. You have to do it every day. Um, so that's something I still do. I constantly listen to these kinds of things. And, you know, a lot of people are like, why do you do that? Why do you keep seeking more? And I think a lot of it is, A, it's not necessarily, well, in a way, expansion is just, it's part of human nature. We all want to expand. We all want to grow. I feel like God, the divine, the universe, whatever term you use, wants to expand. And you're an expression of that. So you're always going to want to expand and grow and be more no matter where you are. So that's just human nature. And also, and also, there's, wait, there's more. <laughs> One of the other reasons why I think that um, it's not greedy to want more, and this is fun, kind of crazy, I think that's better, um, is that old standard, right? You can't get sick enough to make someone else healthy. You can't get poor enough to make someone else rich. You can't get sad enough to make someone else happy. It's just much easier to help the world and do good things from a place of strength and power and knowing your own worth in the world. And, you know, not to say that you can't help somebody when you're down too, you can push each other up, but the more that you have, the more that you're able to give. And, you know, I know for sure there are people who have a lot who don't give a lot, but that's not you because you you're on this live stream, so I know that you're really cool. <laughs> if you're watching this and you're listening to it, you're the kind of person who looks at this as I do. I'm assuming that, you know, your personal growth, your spiritual growth, so you're manifesting into your life the things that you want is going to improve the world. It's kind of like, you know, the three-minute mile for such a long time. Hey, John, um, people couldn't break that, but when one person broke it, then it was easier for everyone else. And as you break your own personal hurdles and you're able to reach goals in your life, reach fulfillment, expand who you are, and, you know, make no mistake, if you want, uh, like, a red Lamborghini, <laughs> the process of becoming a person who has a red Lamborghini is going to expand who you are. You will be a different person when you have it. You will be the person who owns that, but there's a whole different energy of that. And that person makes it easier for other people. It's like, I don't know why that is, but one, in the way it seems to work in our world is that once one person has crossed a barrier, it makes it easier and easier, hey Edna, for other people to cross that barrier. So, are you greedy to want to cross a barrier in your life? No, <laughs> absolutely not, right? It's kind of the opposite because when you cross those barriers and you expand and you are more in any area of your life, you know, whether even it's just material things, and I have found for me um, doing this work, you know, you may start out wanting material things. And once you have all the material things, then you start looking around for what you can do to make the world better. And you want to share with other people how they can have a better life. Um, so, yeah, uh, you're not greedy for wanting that. And I guess now telling you that not being greedy, I should give you some tips on uh, how to do that expansion <laughs> process. Um, and as I said earlier, if you're just um, jumping on, I'm not my number one 100% health-wise. I've picked up some crud from my husband, but I'm hoping that it's not gonna not gonna develop into a full-blown sickiness. Um, hey, is it is it Lorian? Lorian? Hey, Sony. Um, so some tips for that. And the thing that I did a lot when I was starting out, actually my two, 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 number one tips to start expanding your life. One is um, listening. There's so much free content. I mean, um, there are podcasts out the wazoo, some really, really, really good ones, inspiring ones out there. There's also like some amazing audio books. I do an Audible membership. Um, and I think even there's a there's a um, place I also have. I'm, I'm kind of a, a nerd when it comes to this. 
Hey, hey, is it Ibeji? And you're Filipino. Cool. I'm glad you feel it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I listened to those things in Scribd. Um, that's an app that I have on my phone. I think it's S C R I B D in English. Um, but it gives you unlock unlimited audiobooks and unlimited podcasts. And if you're looking for some really good ones, um, gosh, Louise Hay, you can't go wrong with Louise Hay, any of her old audios, Wayne Dyer, um, those are some classic audios. But I like to listen to those in my car a lot. I mean, sometimes I listen to music because I just need that upbeat, but like 90% of the time I'm listening to something that's going to feed my soul. And sometimes music feeds my soul too. But um, So that's one. It's just the everyday listen to something that is positive and upbeat and kind of keeps you from going back in that old story. Um, and the other is a little bit, any kind of form of meditation and or journaling. I like to do both. Um, I get up before my kids get up. I have an hour where I can meditate for like a half an hour or so and then journal for half an hour or so. But just even if you do one or the other, a little bit of something every day to tune in. Um, and that's a great starting place. And if you're at a place where you really want to push through and do more, um, think about doing, and the sun just keeps shining bright. <laughs> it feels good, but it's also bright and sun coming through, so I hope you guys can see. But um, if you want to do more, then look into coaching or group coaching or classes. I have been taking classes and coaching online and in person for, gosh, ever. And, um, you know, you can always start small. You can start with a class on Udemy or Teachable or something like that. Um, you can look at group music. Yeah, music can be very soothing for the soul. Um, yeah. Uh, I like to listen to it um, in the house. But for some reason, when I'm in my car, that's like my little learning university. And I listen to the podcasts more. Um, but yeah, doing something like that, I think a lot of people would be surprised, um, especially friends of mine and things about how much time and money I invest every year in doing those kind of coachings and classes and things like that. Um, I also, I'm just starting a brand new form of coaching for my clients. And so I'll put a link in the, um, in the comments here when I pop off because I don't know how to do it now. Um, I should learn, but actually, let me try one thing. I might be able to, but I'm doing it through personal messenger because I just, I love communicating that way. Um, I communicate that way with my own coach. And I also <laughs> um, communicate that way a lot with my kids. And it's fun because life gets busy and um, sometimes you can't be communicating at the same time. So you don't have to make an appointment. I don't make an appointment with my coach. She just, I leave her a message. And then when she gets there on the other side of the world, she gets the message and replies back. And sometimes we actually go back and forth and chat with each other um, live. Oh my gosh. I have lost where I'm at. Huh, here I am. Um, so yeah, I think I actually maybe did put that in the notes for anybody who's interested. Because I'm just starting this, I'm doing it way, way cheaper than I normally would just to, um, I know it's something that works because it works for me. It works for me to communicate with my coach that way. It works for me to communicate with my kids that way. And um, so, but it is a brand new way for me to operate. So if you're interested in it, do check it out because the price is gonna go way up later on. Um, but for now, there is a special, special, really, really low introductory rate. Um, so 
I'm running out of energy <laughs> on the not feeling good with the cold today. So I'm going to hop off um, and wish you guys all a magical day. Go out and create some magic in your world. Big hugs.